Welcome to Trade Along. Today, we're diving into the thrilling realm of U.S. Treasury bond trading. Our focus will be on taking long positions. We will go over everything from expected value to determining the correct position size to entering the trade using a credit spread. Whether you're new to trading or have considerable experience, this guide will offer valuable insights to enhance your trading strategy. For beginners, we suggest risking 0.5% of your total portfolio and not exceeding 50% of your total account. Experienced traders can use up to 2% positions with a risk limit of up to 75% of their account. Trade along. Determine your maximum position size by multiplying your account size by the maximum risk adjusted for your experience level. Assuming we aim to achieve a 10% annual return and hold this option for 11 days with a maximum risk of $5,000, the artificial intelligence calculation indicates we need an expected value of $21. Trade along. To calculate your required expected value, multiply the annual percentage you aim to earn by the previously calculated maximum risk and then multiply that result by the years to expiry. Using this AI-generated code, we back-tested various strike prices and options configurations to enter this futures contract trade. Here, we present the back-test with the highest expected value. This strategy involves a put credit spread, an option strategy where you sell a put option at a higher strike price and buy a put option at a lower strike price, earning a premium for the spread. We've chosen to sell at 117.5 and buy at 117 to establish the position and earn a premium for waiting. This put credit spread has 11 days until expiry, a delta of minus 0.18, and is calculated using 10 contracts. This setup will yield a reward of $595 with a risk of $4,405. Using the MES comma indicator, which is a moving average that adapts to market volatility to filter out market noise, we have grayed out areas where the indicator does not signal a trade. The system has calculated a probability of success of 0.902. As a result, the expected value for holding the position for 11 days is $104, which is greater than our required expected value of $21. You can use this probability for your trade calculations as needed. Trade along. First, calculate the risk and reward of the trade, then use the probability to determine the expected value. Size the trade based on your maximum risk and ensure the expected value exceeds the required expected value before proceeding. This trade has been analyzed from an expected value perspective. The final outcome is a trade where we aim to earn a premium from the option. To ensure this trade fits into your portfolio, Make sure you don't have any other trades in the same category and direction that may be correlated with the same expiry date. Additionally, adhere to the previously defined risk parameters for your portfolio. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this guide beneficial, be sure to hit like, share it with others, and subscribe for more trading tips. Wishing you successful trading! Remember, this video is for educational purposes and does not serve as financial advice.